Hey, hey, you guys, I'm back here in our nursery for another pregnancy update. This will be for weeks 15 through 16. So if you're curious to see how I'm doing, what's been going on the past couple weeks with this pregnancy, go ahead and keep watching. So for those of you who are new to our channel, my name is Chelsea and my husband Eric and I are pregnant with our first baby and we conceived this baby through IVF. Um, I'm 16 weeks and five days, I think. <laughs> um, and yeah, we are pregnant with a girl. We do already know the gender. Because we did IVF, we were able to have our embryos genetically tested and we chose to find out the gender. All of our embryos were girls, and so we have a girl on the way due on May 4th. So we are very excited for spring. So not too much has been going on the past couple weeks. Um, I'm just gonna get right into the questions and we'll answer those, and hopefully that will cover everything that you'd like to know and that I'd like to remember. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this is to document this pregnancy. So those questions will help to document the whole journey. So let's get into it. So the first question is how far along are you? And I already answered this. I am 16 weeks and five days. I'm pretty sure I like forget all the time. You guys pregnancy brain is, it's a thing. Um, the next question is total weight gain. I have no idea. Um, at my last update, I was 10 pounds up. I haven't weighed myself since then. I'm just waiting until I go to the doctor next week and I'll just let him weigh me. Um, Cause I don't want to get too obsessed with the weight or like, I don't even want to focus on that. Cause all I care about is that my doctor says I'm healthy. Cause all I care about is if my doctor thinks I'm healthy and gaining the proper amount of weight. Uh, next question is stretch marks, question mark? No, but I have been fortunate enough to gain some new areas of cellulite. <laughs> so that's fun. My legs, I just noticed the other day, like on the back of my legs, got some fun stuff going on back there. So this pregnancy is already off to a great start. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I'll just um, do what I need to do when pregnancy is over, eat healthy and take care of my body and I'm sure that will hopefully go away. <laughs> Next question, how are you sleeping? Um, actually, I'm not sleeping as good as I was in like all the, through the first trimester. Um, Ooh, I wish I was sleeping better, but I'm just waking up a lot in the middle of the night. Um, usually just wants to go to the bathroom, but I do toss and turn more. Um, and I have been waking up like feeling achy and like my neck will ache, my head will ache. Ugh. So not sleeping as great as I was in the beginning. So I think I might need to invest in a pregnancy pillow of some sort. Um, let me know if you had one of those and which one you like the best and if it worked well for you because <laughs> I usually sleep with a pillow between my legs and I find that that's probably the most comfortable. Um, and I also like a bill, uh, sorry, a pillow behind my back. I think that's pretty comfortable too. That's kind of nice. So maybe I should just get a pregnancy pillow, but let me know what you guys think. Um... The best moment this week, or the past, I do it every two weeks, so the past couple weeks. Oh goodness, I don't know. Um, probably, for sure, feeling flutters. I haven't like felt like kicks or anything, but I definitely have felt the baby moving. Like one night I got into bed, it was probably I was probably 15 weeks and a few days, and I laid down in bed and I just like got really relaxed and all of a sudden I felt like this weird like flippy movement in my tummy. I don't really know how to explain it, but it just, I imagined um, her doing like a 
a full-on somersault. Like, it was like, whoa. Like, she just, like, switched positions or something. It was crazy. And I have felt since then quite a few little flutters here and there. So I definitely know that it's her moving and not, um, like, in the past couple weeks, I, I mean, before... So I guess like weeks 13 and 14, I thought maybe I felt her move, but I wasn't sure. But I definitely know she's moving around in there. The next question is food cravings. And yes, I have food cravings, lots of food cravings. Actually, not as bad as I did in the beginning. Um, one thing I've craved is cheeseburgers, like <laughs> any kind of cheeseburger, basically. And I don't know if I was craving that in my last update, but... Basically, any cheeseburger is so good. Um, I have been craving ice cream shakes and, like, soft serve ice cream more, too. Like, um, Chick-fil-A got peppermint shakes in. And I wish my cousin wouldn't have told me about them because they are so good. So, um, I've definitely been craving more of that kind of junk, like cheeseburgers and shakes. But... Um, yeah, I still crave, have been starting to crave more and more like healthy foods. For the most part, I feel like I can pretty much eat anything. There's nothing that's like, I, I don't know, like really turning me off as far as food, you know, because that's another like question. Is anything making you queasy or sick? Um, not really. I do still have some nausea. Mostly happens at night. Um, I drove to Arizona with my brothers this past week to film them. They were running, um, racing in the Ironman. And so, um, we were driving to my brother's house, which is about four hours from here. Um, and we we're going to stay the night there and then drive the rest of the way to Arizona because it's about a 10 hour drive. And on the drive there, it was nighttime and I just don't think I had eaten enough. Um, but I was, I just got really really nauseous um like I was like having to do deep breaths and stuff and my brother um one of my brothers is just like so sweet and sensitive and he felt bad for me I could tell um but all I had to do was eat because once I we stopped at a gas station and I got some crackers I think I just got goldfish actually and I downed like a little mini bag of those and I felt so much better and I also got a coke like Someone had told me they really craved Coke during their pregnancy, and so, I don't know, I had that in the back of my mind that day, and so I started craving Coke, and just because I was thinking about it, and um, so I had, like, ice-cold Coke, and that really helped, too, I think, so that was one of the only times I got really nauseous in the past couple weeks, Um but yeah, I, I don't feel like I'm completely out of the woods yet as far as nausea goes, but um, I haven't been really taking Unisom at night, and that could be another reason why I'm not sleeping as well too, because Unisom helps you sleep. So anyway, I just have been trying not to take it as much, because I, if I don't need it, like I, if I'm not nauseous at night and it's not uncomfortable, then I'm not going to take it. Um, so I'd say in the past couple weeks, I've only had to take, um, Unisom probably like four, three or four times. I don't know. So that's good. That means my nausea is subsiding a lot. So I'll take it. Um, next few questions. Let's see. Oh, um, what are your symptoms? Well, I keep feeling like I am getting a cold and I didn't realize like how, suppressed your immune system is when you're pregnant you really are like you really do have to take care of yourself and watch yourself and the past week I've been around um quite a few people who have had colds so I've been trying to take like things that I know I can take like ginger teas and um just different types of herbal teas that will help with a cold um but yeah, I keep kind of getting it, but then I don't get it all the way. So just hoping my immune system can hang on strong and I don't want to get a cold. <laughs> I don't want to get sick. But anyway, um, that would be the one that I most definitely have. The one symptom I most definitely have had the past couple weeks. It just seems like I just want to get a cold, but I haven't quite hit it yet. Um, the other one would be headaches. I have gotten headaches 
basically ever since I got out of my first trimester and I get them almost daily. Um, sometimes they're not as bad as other times, but I wake up with headaches, which never happened before I got pregnant. Um, and then, um, if I don't take something or do something about it, like I'll get sick. It will even make me nauseous. I think it kind of turns into a migraine. So, um, one thing that, um, I have been taking that is okay for pregnant women, as long as you, of course, talk to your doctor, um, is Excedrin tension. That's really helped because Tylenol will just like take the edge off. Um, and that's fine. But if I'm going to take something, I want it to like actually do something. <laughs> and, um, Excedrin tension headache actually really does help a lot. Um, for the types of headaches that I'm getting, cause they tend to be like achy neck headache things. So anyway, um, so that has been good. I've only had to take it twice actually. Um, where like it's only gotten bad enough where I'm just like, I better take it. Otherwise it can turn into a migraine and just kind of kick me on my butt. So, um, that's pretty much it. I think the reason why it's okay to take is it doesn't have any ibuprofen in it. It's just um, acetaminophen. Is that what Tylenol is? It's basically Tylenol and caffeine. Um, but it's not too much caffeine, um, like for pregnant women or whatever. But of course, ask your doctor before you start, like if you're having headaches and you want to take that, I would for sure talk to your doctor first. I'm sure they'll think that it's fine. But, um, anyway, so headaches have definitely been a symptom. I'm also out of breath all the time. If you can't tell in this video, like whenever I walk upstairs, like I can walk up five stairs and I am out of breath. So that's a funny little symptom. I've kind of had that since I got pregnant, but it gets, I swear it's getting more and more obvious. Um, also I just feel heavy and I've had a lot of round ligament, ligament pain. Um, gosh, if I like stretch or turn or do anything too hard, I feel, I feel it. So I have to be careful. And, um, yeah, I just, I will feel it throughout the day, just like stretching and pulling and yeah. So I'm definitely just feeling like I'm growing a lot and I'll show you in the bump shot at the end of this video, you can tell that I am definitely popped. Um, okay. Next question is the, is your belly button in or out? It is still in and my rings are still on. Um, are you happy or moody most of the time? I actually feel like the past couple weeks I've been more moody than in my entire pregnancy. And I think it's because, um, I have just been sick still. And I thought that, I mean, like I said, it's getting better, but I just thought that like, once you hit your first trimester, you were automatically like in like the bliss of pregnancy. And I just haven't felt that. And so I don't know, I've been cranky about it a little bit. <laughs> so trying to be grateful and I do look down and I notice like my belly and I am grateful every time I see it poking out because it's just like, I can't even believe that it's me. I'm like, what the heck? There's a actual human inside me. It's so surreal. So I am very grateful for it. And that's kind of how I get through, um, the moodiness. Um, because yeah, for the most part, I am very happy. I would just say the past couple weeks, I've been the most moody I've ever been in this pregnancy. Okay, and the last question is, what are you looking forward to in the next couple weeks? So I am definitely looking forward to my baby shower, which is this weekend. We have family coming into town for Thanksgiving. I'm also looking forward to Thanksgiving and wearing stretchy pants and being able to eat whatever I want. Um, I love Thanksgiving food, but, um, and then the couple days after Thanksgiving, we're having a baby shower. My cousins are going to be in town and my sisters will be here. And, um, they wanted to do a little baby shower for me. So that'll be super fun. I'm really excited. Um, just to see everyone really like, I don't even really like baby showers to be honest. Not much. Like I just, uh, I, I haven't ever really liked them too much, but, um, I'm excited to be with my family and, um, uh, I don't know. It'll be fun. I'm really excited to see them. And yeah, I finished my baby registry on Amazon and Target. 
and it was super helpful. So if any of you are um, pregnant for the first time like me and you're looking to start a registry, Amazon and Target are both awesome because they have checklists. I don't know if other um, like stores have this, but um, they have checklists built into to their registries. I especially like Target's um, of what you would need. And of course they like give way more than I think you actually need, but um, you can go down and like register for things that are on this checklist that they provide and make sure that you are covering all your bases because that was what was so hard for me was like I just wanted someone to tell me exactly like a big list of everything I could possibly need for a baby and they definitely do a good job of that because they want you to buy tons of stuff from their store so they give you like tons of things that you need um and it's pretty easy to like know what you actually need once it's all there but just getting started from scratch was really overwhelming for me so check out those registries and those checklists if you are like me and you're feeling a little overwhelmed with getting a baby registry up. So I was super glad to get that done. All right guys and now it's time for the belly shot. So here's from the front. You can't really tell too much but of course when I turn to the side you'll see baby popping right there. And then if I turn to the other side it's right there. And from the front this way, and it doesn't look like too crazy, but I swear at the end of the day, she is popping out. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.